Ever wondered why real hackers, the ones in movies or ethical hackers, almost never use Windows? Now with Windows 11 looking all shiny and new, people think it's good enough for everyone. Well, not quite. Pros lean towards Linux for power, control, and freedom. Windows often acts like a walled garden, abstracting away mechanics. For hackers, that abstraction is a barrier. They need to operate without the OS restricting their actions. We'll dive into why Linux reigns supreme in this domain. Let's get into it. Hackers avoid Windows due to the lack of full control. You might think, I have administrator rights, but for deep system access, it's just a courtesy title. Microsoft is the real boss of your Windows installation. Windows protects users, but these protections are obstacles for hackers. Critical system files and processes are heavily guarded. Hackers need unfettered access which Windows often blocks. In contrast, Linux offers root access, giving full control. Next up, let's talk about something that drives not just hackers, but a lot of power users absolutely nuts. The bloat and noise inherent in Windows. When I say bloat, I'm referring to the sheer volume of unnecessary applications, background services, auto-updating mechanisms, telemetry tracking, and pre-installed junk that comes standard with most Windows installations or gets added over time. For an average user, some of this might be mildly annoying or go completely unnoticed. For a hacker, it's a minefield. Think about it. Every unnecessary process running in the background is consuming resources, CPU cycles, RAM, network bandwidth. When you're trying to run resource-intensive hacking tools, like a password cracker or a complex exploit framework, you want every bit of system performance dedicated to tasks, not to Candy Crush updating itself or Microsoft collecting data on your usage patterns. A lean, clean operating system is crucial for efficiency and speed, and Windows, frankly, is often the opposite of lean. It's like trying to sprint while carrying a backpack full of rocks. Then there's the noise aspect. All those background activities generate system logs, network traffic, and a constant hum of activity that isn't initiated by you. When you're conducting a penetration test or trying to remain stealthy on a target network, this baseline noise can be a significant problem. It makes it harder to distinguish your malicious or testing traffic from the OS's regular chatter. It also increases your digital footprint, potentially making you easier to detect. A quiet system is a stealthy system and Windows is inherently chatty. One of the most practical and immediate reasons hackers gravitate towards Linux is the availability and integration of specialized tools. Think about distributions like Kali Linux, Parrot OS, or Black Arch Linux. These aren't just regular Linux systems with a different wallpaper. They are purpose-built arsenals preloaded with hundreds, sometimes thousands of tools specifically designed for penetration testing, digital forensics, reverse engineering, and network analysis. We're talking Wi-Fi hacking suites, password crackers, vulnerability scanners, exploit frameworks, the whole nine yards, ready to go right out of the box. Now imagine trying to replicate that on Windows. First off, a significant number of these specialized hacking tools are developed primarily for Linux environments. They might rely on Linux-specific kernel features, libraries, or system calls. Getting them to run on Windows can be a Herculean task, often involving clunky workarounds like Sigwin, or more recently, the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. While WSL has improved things, it's still an emulation layer and it can introduce its own set of complexities, performance overhead, and compatibility quirks, especially for tools that need low-level hardware access. Even for tools that do have a Windows version or can be compiled for Windows, the process is rarely straightforward. You'll be hunting down dependencies, configuring environment variables, dealing with antivirus software flagging your legitimate security tools as malware, a constant headache, and troubleshooting obscure errors. This isn't just a one-time setup every tool might have its own unique installation dance. This eats up valuable time that could be spent actually learning, practicing, or conducting an engagement. In Linux, it's often as simple as, and you're good to go. Another critical factor that pushes hackers towards Linux is its open source nature, standing in stark contrast to Windows closed source black box approach. When we say Windows is closed source, it means that the underlying source code, the very blueprint of the operating system, is proprietary and kept secret by Microsoft. You can't inspect it, you can't modify it, at least not legally or easily, and you fundamentally don't know everything it's doing behind the scenes. For an average user, this might not be a major concern. For a hacker, it's a deal breaker. Hackers, by their very nature, need to understand systems at the deepest possible level. 
They need to know how things work, why they work that way, and where the potential weaknesses or interesting interactions lie. With a closed source OS like Windows, you're always working with a degree of uncertainty. You're trusting that the OS is behaving as documented, that there are no hidden back doors, intentional or unintentional, and that its internal mechanisms aren't interfering with your work in unseen ways. This reliance on trust in a vendor is something many in the security field are inherently skeptical about. Linux being open source throws the doors wide open. The source code for the kernel, the core utilities, and most of the software you run on it is freely available for anyone to inspect, audit, modify, and compile. Windows, the operating system many aspiring hackers might first try to use, is one of the biggest targets for hackers. This is due to its massive market share and complexity. Real hackers use specialized Linux systems to exploit Windows vulnerabilities. The sheer number of Windows installations makes it an attractive target. More users mean a wider attack surface. A vast amount of malware is designed to target Windows systems. While Microsoft invests in security, new vulnerabilities are always being discovered. If there's one place where the difference between Linux and Windows becomes glaringly obvious for any power user, and especially for a hacker, it's the command line interface. For many everyday Windows users, the command line is that scary black box that they rarely touch. For a hacker, the command line is their scalpel, their paintbrush, their primary interface for interacting with and manipulating systems. And in this arena, Linux's terminal is undisputed king. Windows has CMD, which is, let's be honest, archaic and incredibly limited in its capabilities. Then there's PowerShell, which is a significant improvement, bringing more powerful scripting and object-oriented features. It's a decent shell, no doubt, and useful for Windows system administration. However, when compared to the power, flexibility, and ubiquity of Linux shells like Bash or Zhish, PowerShell still often falls short for the kind of tasks hackers perform daily. The Linux terminal, powered by shells like Bash, offers a rich environment for scripting complex automation tasks with incredible ease, piping commands together, redirecting input and output. These are fundamental building blocks for hackers. While PowerShell has its own ways of doing some of this, the Linux ecosystem of command line utilities is vast, mature, and deeply ingrained in the workflow of security professionals. Many hacking tools are designed primarily to be run and controlled via the command line, and they expect the robust environment that a Linux shell provides. Furthermore, Linux provides much more direct and granular control over system resources and network packets straight from the terminal. Beyond the technical capabilities of the OS itself, there's another massive factor that draws hackers to Linux the community and the ecosystem of tools built around it. The open source nature of Linux fosters a vibrant, collaborative global community. Iconic tools like Metasploit, Nmap, Aircracking, and Wireshark are Linux first. Their primary development platform and the bulk of community support are almost always Linux first. New tools and techniques often appear first as Linux-compatible utilities or scripts. Being on Linux puts you at the forefront of these developments. Finally, let's talk about a topic that is absolutely paramount for many hacking activities, especially those on the more clandestine side of things. Anonymity and privacy. In a field where discretion can be the difference between success and detection, the operating system you use plays a critical role in how well you can cover your tracks and protect your identity. And here, Windows presents some significant, almost insurmountable challenges when compared to Linux. Windows, as we've touched upon, is inherently chatty. It's designed to collect and transmit a considerable amount of telemetry data back to Microsoft. This includes information about your system configuration, application usage, errors, and much more. While Microsoft provides options to limit this data collection, the extent to which it can be truly disabled is often debated and unclear. For a hacker who needs to operate without leaving unnecessary digital footprints, this constant phoning home is a non-starter. It's like having a built-in informant in your OS. Beyond explicit telemetry, the way Windows handles network connections, updates, and various background services can inadvertently lead to IP address leaks or other identifying information being transmitted. So there you have it. Hackers don't avoid Windows simply because it's bad for your average grandma checking emails, but they avoid it for serious security work because it's limited, closed, and noisy. Linux, on the other hand, hands you the real power. Full, unadulterated root access to the core of your system. An arsenal of open, auditable tools, built in or easily installable. This freedom and capability are essential for deep level tech interaction. 
install Kali Linux, Parrot OS, or a base Debian or Arch. Smash that like button if you learned something valuable today. Don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Hacking for more deep dives into cybersecurity. Drop a comment below Linux is freedom. Let me know your thoughts or favorite distro. Linux is and remains the weapon.